What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. This is Clutch going. Bro. We got the top 10 animals with Black Air Force energy. Hey, mm. animals, mm. they have no qualms with fighting with whatever species is in their way. <laughs> so when they put their Black Air Forces on, you may want to just move out the way, man. I want to. Yeah. Like, for real, man. especially them kangaroos, boy. Mm -hmm. They come up like. <laughs> Yeah, nah, Kangaroo yeah, Jack is with the shit. So yeah. we're going to check this out. Watch these animals go rogue. Yeah, man. And uh, be safe out there, man. You know, don't be just walking up to wild animals thinking shit sweet. Because then you may end up on one of these videos. Yeah. Don't be, it ain't going to be sweet no more. <laughs> it ain't going to be sweet no more. <laughs> Damn. Ow! That was a push. Bro, that was a fall. That was a, like a, yeah. He... Black. Air Force. That's cold, bro. Not Good old Air Urban Force. Dictionary defines it as a person or an object that has insane potential and is crazy enough to deal with anything without fear mm -hmm. or hesitation, right. regardless of moral alignment, including its own. They really got a, a mm -hmm. definition and for this. Taking grammar lessons from NBA Young Boy, I'd say whoever wrote that was pretty on point. Yeah, it's a term I use a lot in my videos without really explaining exactly what it is. So here's a full list of the top ten animals with the most oh! black Air Force energy. Some animals are an obvious pick; others might kid, just surprise right? you. No, but they've so. all earned their spot, including the animal at number 10, which might have the least cloud of any animal on this list, but that's only because it's found one place in the world. Because if this bird were airdropped across the globe, it'd definitely be more known for all the wrong reasons. Mm. Starting off is what happens when an animal is too smart for everyone else's quality of life. The Kia is a large parrot mm. that can be found terrorizing the people of New Zealand. Oh. And don't let it fool you, this black air force with a Grinch colorway is an opera. <laughs> Grinch colorway. Highly intelligent and oh. armed with a hook-shaped <clears throat> beak, which is the perfect tool for Kias to inflate insurance by picking apart cars. Oh. Oh, you see, the Kia no. is smart enough to associate people and the cars we drive with food, which is why this anti-mechanic is famous for committing the cutest carjackings you'll ever see. <laughs> of course, they don't just That's stop at fun. cars. This feather felon will go through purses, Backpacks, oh. duffel bags, and swipe anything they can fly away with. There was even a case where this airborne pirate stole the passport of a Scottish man that didn't want to be identified. Because no one wants to be remembered for getting denied from your home country because you got your passport pickpocketed by a panhandling parrot. Whoa. It happened to him and it can happen to you. Damn. Guess what? If you happen to get your wallet snatched and try to see the Kia about it, be prepared to also eat a several thousand dollar fine and even jail time. What? Kias are protected by the government because it only makes sense that something with wings would be above the law. And it's almost like every Kia knows it and acts accordingly. Oh, but it's not just humans getting so above the Kias law. will regularly raid other birds' nests and make omelets with their unborn children. Oh. And they'll use that Swiss Army knife of a nose to remove parts of a living sheep Dang. to eat. And there have been reports of them victimizing dogs and even horses. But at least the Kia isn't a legitimate physical threat to people. The next animal's Bro, responsible for putting more mess with my... on workers' oh, no, than we any other animal. I cook your ass. <laughs> They're just gonna find me. The African wilderness has some of the most ways to F around right and find out per square mile right. in the world. In a so it makes sense in that living in the most dangerous area codes in the world has turned the zebra into an actual psychopath. What? This oppressed Oreo horse has the strongest kick in the animal kingdom. Oreo strong horse. enough for Marty to have written Alex out of the sequel. Which is why <laughs> even though lions body them often, every once in a while a lion Ooh. has to explain to his ancestors how he got flatlined by a high strung equality donkey. But the generational anxiety of being constantly hunted means the zebra will often oh. one-shot something for existing too close Damn. to you. Oh. There's two reasons why you won't see a person riding a zebra. One, they're too small. And two, every zebra is fundamentally a bastard to its core. No, like, literally. Because <laughs> many mother zebras will actually mate with as many males as possible. Because if she's showing and he suspects it's not hers, he'll violently press her until it's terminated. Wow. Oh. And if the baby's already out, that's just an invitation for him to demote her from mother to mourning. <gasps> and going back to humans, zebras are infamous for allegedly Whoa. putting as many zoo staff in the ER as any other animal. Whoa. They may look like horses whose favorite part of a birthday is the finger painting station, but this panda pony's liable to paint the block with their insides if you breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Treat one like a barnyard animal and negotiate your left hand. And because zebras are genetically closer to donkeys than horses, calling it the ass of Africa is a scientifically accurate title. Mm. And as the default protein of many of the landlords of the savannah, it's a title they hold with pride. Because it's the best one they can get. 10% off is also what you can expect if you treat this barcode horse as a petting zoo. But at least they have the excuse of constantly being plotted on. The next animal has less excuses but more disrespect. Uh oh. That's crazy, bro. Zebra deer roll, managed to real. cause billions of dollars in damage a year by playing freeze tag with cars. They and that do, ironically bro. makes mm -hmm. them the most dangerous animal in America. But where blissful ignorance makes deer a threat, the deer have down under initiate conflict. Nine out of 10 car accidents in Australia involve kangaroos, and a good number of them are premeditated and not by the driver. Bro, look kangaroos at assault vehicles with enough regularity <laughs> to commit a oh. shot. <laughs> bro, oh, have we booty. seen this one? He just. <laughs> 
booted Fat Kangaroos will regularly beef with inanimate objects, but it's not just a bluff. These are some brolic marsupials, armed with claws, <laughs> but more importantly, a sharp dagger of a toenail, which is why it's not a kangaroo's punch you have to worry about, but that Jurassic pedicure disemboweled. Oh. It's what makes their sparring sessions so lethal. Jurassic that and the pedicure. fact that kangaroos start every day with the specific goal of inconveniencing as many life forms as possible. <laughs> if you happen to fly a drone in kangaroo country, prepare to have your insurance tested. In fact, it's not a stretch to say they hate anything that flies. Can you imagine how ridiculous this could have gotten? Imagine people thinking you died paragliding, oh. but really, you survived, but got mobbed by a pack of royal oh. Damn. Kangaroos are number eight, because there's really no good reason to Damn. See, as dangerous as Australia is, there aren't really any dominant apex land predators. While kangaroos often contend with dingoes and the occasional wedge-tailed eagle, wow. a full-grown kangaroo doesn't have much that can threaten it, other than a bigger kangaroo. Yeah. So my working theory is, Damn, they bro. got cocky. And until nature airdrops some bears or maybe some type of big oh, cat, yeah. kangaroos are still going to be out here thinking they can do whatever. Jackie. Try to keep their mind at your own risk. As on as malicious macropods are, they're not even the most disrespectful animal in Australia. And believe me, we'll get to that. No, Australia got some mad disrespectful bro. animals. Uh, the big five cool on first the top five most dangerous animals to hunt in Africa. These include the elephant, the rhinoceros, the lion, the leopard, and an animal so feared it's been nicknamed Black Death. The African Cape Buffalo is a walking attempted homicide case armed with a pair of horns to make most attempts successful. They have one of the highest KD ratios against humans with guns. Whoa. In some places, these tanks with road rage and 50% of the people they go after, and a lot of that is because they will actively seek revenge. There have been stories of one buffalo murking the same hunter that took out a member of its own oh, herd. And whether you're a lion or a hunter, these trench cows get it back in blood. Oh, the scariest version of a cave buffalo is one that's already been injured. Hunters have followed a mortally wounded buffalo into thick brush only for the freight train with legs to circle back and ambush them from behind. Which is why the number one rule when hunting cave buffalo, assume you only have one shot because that's usually all you get. Damn. And it's not just humans getting bodied. Bloodlusting buffalo will seek out unsupervised lion cubs and log them out of life oh, before they grow up to wow. be a threat. Not like the adults aren't at risk either. Capes will stalk and circle lone lions using the threat of gang violence to give Mufasa a Damn. Which is how the same apex predator that can soar wow. multiple hyenas can get sent up a tree like a house cat. <laughs> They're like the Liam Neeson of animals. Wrong right. them and they make their life's mission to co-sign your beat. That first hit was self-defense. Everything Not after that tone. was a personal choice. And even though Damn. experienced lions can take them down, it's still very much a gamble. Especially since they can travel in herds of hundreds. Yeah. That's also how they earned the nickname Widowmaker. Because right now there's at least Widow one woman on Tuner because her husband decided to hunt a one-ton vibe check while the buffalo decided that would be the day he'd finally live up to his nickname. It's a murderous mammal, but like the zebra, it's often just self-defense gone way too far. <laughs> Not like the antics of the next animal. Damn, bro. Bro, they don't play that, bro. If you're talking about the black air force of the sky, <clears throat> you're probably talking about crows. Or really oh, just bro. corvids in general. Crows are smart enough to manipulate their environment to their advantage. But they're also devious enough to <laughs> manipulate other animals for their own sadistic pleasure. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that crow said to that cat, but it certainly <laughs> involves some Bro, they just don't want to. their relationship with wolves to call out hits on competing coyotes. Crows in Tokyo have especially become a problem where they've basically gone to war oh. against the entire human population. But it's not just humans getting bullied. There might not be a worse time to be an owl than in broad daylight oh. surrounded by a murder of crows. Damn. Not to mention crows will often raid the nests of other birds for a disturbingly literal kid's meal. And that's wow. when they're not just straight up snatching minors in front of their parents. <gasps> I think EDP just found a spirit animal. They'll regularly mob and harass EDP other birds until they drop animal. the food they've already caught. Wait. And crows won't hesitate to beat on much larger birds. I didn't prey, know crows might down why like they that. do the exact same thing with humans to get them to surrender whatever calories they have on them. But the avian onslaught peaks out with the Australian magpie. Now, turns out they're not actually corvids. They actually sit closer to another bird with psychopath tendencies. Either way, Australian magpies manage to be the most feared thing in a country seasoned with crocs, cassowaries, and snakes. And while most wildlife is harmless as long as you respect their space, the earth is their space, and they have no patience for trespassers. <laughs> Everything the light touches. Many Australians oh. have taken to wearing helmets to protect themselves from the magpies' malicious oh. intent, especially during swooping season, where magpies will relentlessly attack anything that gets near their what nest. The Actual human lives have been lost to this goth Tweety's tantrums. Whoa. And since corvids can remember faces, once you've been swooped, you can expect the same treatment next year. I think Tears said it best. Corvids are what would happen if you gave monkeys wings. But at least in the magpie's case, they're only legitimate threats. <laughs> It's, it's been a year, my boy. Six weeks of I'm back. Season. Next animal is one of the biggest dangers to Bro. humans all year round. 
Bro, if an animal remembers you from a year ago, oh, it you was really only a matter of time right. before the river rhino made an appearance. Oh, Widely nah. considered the world's deadliest mammal, you may have noticed that hippos weren't included in the big five, and I have to assume that's because nobody that has a desire to see the next day would actually hunt them. No. Arguably, no animal nah, has a harder PR bro. team than the hippopotamus. Yeah. First of all, it's not the goofy lardonkey it lets you think it is. A thin subcutaneous fat layer means hippos actually walking units. And despite their awkward appearance, hippos can outpace any human over short mm -hmm. distances, and that includes on land and in water where they somehow become mm -hmm. even more territorial. Hippos have been known to lower the census totals of other animals for seemingly no reason. Just when an antelope thinks it's been bailed out, the slaughter yep. does origami with its yep. spine. And even like, though they're supposed to be herbivores, <laughs> every once in a while they'll give in to the temptation of tasting the flesh of their victims. Cannibalism is not off the table. Science doesn't really know why exactly they do this, but science doesn't account for an animal just being a dick. A few predators will press this obese water. <laughs> nope. <Those> <laughs> <do> <laughs> the Hippos are so carnage happy Damn. that the biggest threat to a baby hippo is a bigger, meaner bull hippo. Yep. It's how a hippo baby shower can legitimately oh. end in a rain of flesh confetti. Now, to be fair, plenty of animals resort to infanticide. Hippos are just really mean about it. Like I said, nobody's PR team works harder. Except maybe dolphins. Which makes sense, since despite resembling ungulates like warthogs and rhinos, the hippos' closest living relatives are actually cetaceans like dolphins and whales. But instead of making it out in the ocean, hippos decided Whoa. to make a living griefing everything in its area code. And I didn't even mention the way they claim that area code. Yep. It's all mine. Oh my. You know, if you unsubscribed right now, I wouldn't blame you. The only Bro, thing that can make this way. whale Karen more of a menace than it already is is if it were a straight up predator. Or Whoa, why does he sit then there? again, that would literally make it an animal further down this list. He could have got out of there, bro. But I would have. <laughs> My personal bias was not going to keep the elephant off the mm -mm, list. As nah. much as I love them, elephants nah, can be a devastating combination of smart enough to do bro. anything and big enough to get away with. No! Asian elephants especially get themselves into trouble by raiding villages and emptying out their rice supply. And which we know is why they Asian have great memory are too. For the yep. bulk of human hashtags, especially since they can be just as vengeful as the king mm -hmm. buffalo. Earlier this year, a man in Thailand had an elephant working hauling wood in the brutal heat, which is illegal. And apparently, the elephant knew his rights because he proceeded to rip his boss in half. And of course, we gotta address the... Uh, I'm better than that. One elephant traveled over 100 miles to murk a 70-year-old woman collecting mm -hmm. water, only to pull up to her funeral to attack the soul evicted body, this time in front of her family. Damn, the biggest mystery of mankind is what motivated a four-ton pachyderm to pack up an elderly woman twice. If he had a reason, it's not like he's gonna tell us. Elephants rank over hippos because where hippos commit war crimes in the heat of passion, when an elephant catches a body, you can almost be certain it was premeditated. Ooh, and it's in damn. populations that have been fragmented by poaching, where young male elephants really fly off the handle. And bull elephants are already pretty high strung as it is, but they manage to get worse in communities decimated by poaching. To the point where three elephants in South Africa were responsible for deleting 63 rhinos as well as charging at people. Not now, to be fair, poaching typically targets older bulls, and research shows that without old heads around, younger male elephants go into must a lot sooner than they should. Which I get. What I don't get is why that has to involve turning a rhino from a tight end to a wide out. What you have to remember tight is that elephants are intelligent out. enough to experience every human emotion like compassion, empathy, and <laughs> But for every headline like this, you might get a headline like this. And if elephants wore shoes, they'd rock the biggest black air forces Facts. the world's ever seen. But that's only because the Whoa. next animal on this list doesn't have legs. It's cold, bro. bro elephants don't, don't mess with them. Nah, man. nah, elephants. One of the biggest injustices cool. of cinema is that where dolphins got cast as a lovable flipper, sharks got typecast as Jaws. Dolphins are the most disrespectful. Mm -hmm. No, they're assholes. Which makes sense because they're basically they intelligent, oh! hydrodynamic hippos. They precision. regularly bully sharks, use fish heads and live eels as marital aids, commit oh. unprovoked acts of porpoiseide, all while letting humanity think they're the good guys. Mm -hmm. They have mating practices so yep. brutal that I probably can't even talk about them. Just know that what dolphins like to do to each he other, guidelines might try to do to me. But we can't talk about dolphins without yep. talking about the biggest dolphin of all. The orca is the most dominant apex Damn. predator on the planet that isn't human. And as if sheer size and intelligence wasn't enough, they typically hunt in pods with the coordination of a wolf pack, mm -hmm. which is how this oppressive sea oreo regularly griefs the tankiest animals on the planet. They're such a force that great whites have been known to abandon hunting grounds for up to a year once this steroid quality guppy makes an appearance. Probably because they've been known to use the shark's biology against mm. them to rob them of their heart and liver just to leave the rest of the shark to sink to the abyss. And then there's the 
fact that orcas often practice their craft on other animals. Which is why if you ever feel bad about penguins getting bullied by seals, I suggest you see what happens when a Navy SEAL joins the Air Force. While you could talk us up to hunting strategy, there's also the chance that living life on recruit difficulty means orcas get bored and just start trying stuff. And while it's true a wild orca is never taking out a human, that hasn't stopped them from actively messing with human vessels with disturbing regularity. It's like they know who's ruining the ocean and adjust their behavior accordingly. Either way, orcas are the humans of the sea and anything that steps to them gets reminded expedition. Oh, Even most of all, he them. moral of the story, Free Willy should have been put on parole. He the only him. thing more black Air Force than an animal that griefs everything around it would be an animal that commits atrocities against its own kind. Bro. And that's why orcas are only <laughs> He lost <laughs> He booted the hell out of him. Ask any zookeeper what animal they fear the most. If they don't say chimps, they've never worked with mm. one. A common misconception is that chimps are five times stronger than the average man. And while the number is actually closer to 1.5, chimps have more fast twitch muscles, a stronger bite force, mm -hmm. and a stronger grip force. Their ability to use tools is fascinating to watch. Mm -hmm. Until you realize that means they're able to create and use weapons. People often Damn. forget that chimpanzees are pack hunting predators able to execute attacks with the precision of early man. And that doesn't just apply to their prey. Chimps in Luongo National Park have been documenting attacking families of gorillas and murking any helpless offspring they can get their hands on. Mm -hmm. Literally no animal safe from the violent tendencies of a furious George. But it's the damage they inflict against their own kind that puts them over the top. Chimp casualties often share the same injuries. A disfigured face, missing fingers if yep. not entire hands, and a non-consensual neutering. Chimps seem to have an understanding Jeez, of what's important to an animal and they go out of their way to remove it. It's why I can show you this picture and you'll understand. Oh. And it's why instead of organ donor I have, if ever maimed by a chimp, just let me die on my driver's yeah. license. And it's also why you probably have a better chance of surviving being locked in a room with a lion than oh, in a room with a furry oh, chainsaw with drums. The fact that a chimp can get pushed six feet under by members of its own troop guarantees them a spot on this list. The only way an animal could beat that is if something was enough of a menace to be a legitimate threat to itself. And that's exactly what number one is. But before we reveal number one, here's some honorable mentions. The Canadian Goose for having the most irrational confidence of any animal. They actually almost went extinct and now they revolve their entire existence around punishing humanity for it. Oh. Swans. Because what geese think they are, yeah. swans always have been. Wolverines. <laughs> because they're more than capable of hunting for themselves, but mm -hmm. they'd rather tax animals three times their size for a living. Mm -hmm. Meerkats. For being quite literally the most homicidal mammals on the planet. Oh. And now at number one to absolutely no one's surprise, the honey badger, oh, the most yeah. unapologetically disrespectful creature yeah, on Earth. That makes I have sense. an entire video dedicated to the exploits of this steroid skunk, but here are some highlights. They'll regularly oh, pinch food from leopards and adore attention if they get caught. They'll take on packs of animals mm -hmm. that realistically should be able to one-shot them, but the Oreo <laughs> weasel has plot armor in the form Oreo of crackhead weasel. courage. They'll raid the hives of African <laughs> yep. bees, the same bees that are 10 times meaner and sting 10 times more than their European mm -hmm. cousins. And honey badgers aren't immune to bee stings. They're resistant, but enough stings will flatline a honey badger. But ask the honey badger if he cares. He won't answer, but you know the answer. No. These prison ferrets also run fades with highly venomous yeah. cobras. Oh. If they manage to get bitten, they'll just slip into a cobra-induced coma and then wake up hours later and walk it off like a Sunday yeah. morning hangover. Even the honey badger's idea of self-defense is as offensive as you can get. As in, they'll reverse their anal pouches inside out and release a smell so pungent it can allegedly paralyze attacking bees. Oh. And honestly, any animal that religiously attacks the baby makers of others is a different tier of menace. No other Damn. badger represented this better than Stoffel, who once escaped from his enclosure and picked a fight with a neighboring family of lions who nearly mauled him to death. After about two months in the hospital, the first thing the affiliated ferret did fresh out was go right back at the same line to the score. And that was only one of the hundreds of times Stoffel managed to raise the blood pressure of the people around him. But here's the real kicker. Stoffel was actually hand raised by humans at a young age and therefore imprinted on them. He had no intention of ever leaving. The whole thing was just a game to him. Because if blatant disrespect were a sport, they still wouldn't play it because anything involving rules goes against a honey badger's belief system. But that's gonna do it for this video. Bro, for more consistent content, be sure to follow my Instagram. Bro, he's not to afraid. To further support this channel, my Patreon's also gonna be in the description. Oh, my boy went 301. I think it got mauled. Came out of the uh, the hospital. With, with Went right say. back. <laughs> like, who are them dudes that did that at? Oh lord, I got I got to run mine, bro. Nah, man. I re hey, I respect it, bro. Give it to him, fam. I respect it. Honey mm. Badger don't give no f's. Homie got heart. He got crackhead energy heart, bro. bro. Cause he don't. They gonna keep getting stung. Shit, some good ass honey, bro. <laughs> It's good to me. It's good to me. You can die right now. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I've lived you my all truth. gotta go. Hey, that's hey. The honey badger lives his truth. He don't give a damn, man. So, hey, y'all. Shout out to Casual Casual Geographic, man. For sure, all man. These types of videos, bro. <laughs> if you ever run into a honey badger, just go the other way, bro. Because I'm telling alone. you now, it's not gonna go the way you think. Facts. It is.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got definitely black uh, Air Force it's energy. Facts, man. man. But that hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. Let us know what other videos we need to be checking out. If y'all want us to continue this series, let us know in the comments. Continue to spread love, be love, and we catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.